Uh, I'm Alex, this is Ellen. We are in the Welsh Wind Distillery. Um, so from our farm, um, uh, five minutes from our uh, current distillery space here, we are formerly the Gugevan Arms on the crossroads that connect uh, Cardigan to Aberystwyth within the north and Carmarthen to the sea. Um, uh, we have been building our business, predominantly in custom spirits for other people. Um, we've launched uh, 30 gins, they go all over the world, and some really uh, exciting and interesting people have been into our gin lab space here. Um, uh, we developed that gin lab space uh, to allow people to come and make their own bottle. We designed custom stills. Uh, people were choosing a botanical profile um, that would then go on to you know, become their bottle for the experience. Um, we, we were the first distillery in Wales to uh, host gin making experiences and we'll be launching our own In the Welsh Wind signature style gin this summer. Uh, and then in the future, we'll be moving into Welsh whisky uh, with a truly grain to glass Welsh whisky. That starts with the hectare of barley we have in front of the building right now. Um, this has been such an exciting journey. We're working with uh, farmers in Ceredigion and North Pembroke, um, of course, being able to offer um, a great value for that barley. Um, uh, and that will give us the stamp of grain to glass. Uh, our motivation for starting in the Welsh Wind is because we wanted to build something together and work from home with our little boy. Uh, we were inspired by the craft gins that we tasted in Scotland that were reflective of their landscapes to produce one that was reflective of the West Wales landscape. And the fact that terroir really isn't just for wine and could be for gin and whisky in West Wales really excited us in our development of uh, the gins that we make here. Uh, with the hard work and determination of what we've done so far, we've been able to develop products that really sing about West Wales and what it means to be here. So uh, some of the challenges we've faced here are the fact that we moved very quickly from wanting to have our own gin into having custom spirits. So we have had to very quickly expand what we do. So we've moved out of our little cow shed uh, at the home farm into our new premises here in, in the town of Grace on the crossroads of West Wales. Uh, the second part of that then is, is how we actually staff production at the distillery. So there's a real ebb and flow to how the distillery works and we're very busy with, with production and bottling and handling it sometimes and then it might go a little bit quieter where we sort of move into gin experiences. So it's trying to work out how we have enough staff when we need them and then have a smaller team when it's required as well. Obviously the biggest challenge we face this year is, is the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, we've been very lucky here that we've managed to very quickly sort of completely flip our business model so that we went into hand sanitizer production very early on and i think by the end of this month we'll have done about 30,000 litres of hand sanitizer which we've supplied to the local councils in wales the police force uh, rnli lifeguards coast guards the hospitals schools i think you name it we've we've supplied it the other sort of thing that we've done during this crisis is we were approached by um, a local brewing company who had a lot of beer that they couldn't sell uh, because obviously the, the bars and things haven't been open. So we had a little look at what we could do with 3,000 litres of uh, beer and got in touch with some guys up in uh, North Scotland in the Orkneys and we've started to create our own uh, craft vinegar here. So hopefully that will be a product that we can continue well past this pandemic and actually have yet another product to put you know West Wales on the map. So uh, what makes us different from other businesses is that we refuse to be bound by tradition. We you know we've done a lot of research, we've looked at a lot, we work with a lot of other people but actually you know in that we've learned to respect and learn from others but we're unafraid to push the boundaries and really look at how we can do things differently here. We, we often are looking for possibilities rather than being restricted by how it's always been done. If there's a new way of doing it that we think might work better, we're not afraid to try that. We're always sort of trying to work as closely as possible with people locally and local businesses while establishing networks with businesses and people further across Wales and across the globe now. Uh, you know, we really do strongly believe that we will be a better business for West Wales if we're working in partnership with others. Our plans for the future are already really taking shape. We've planted our first barley at, here at the distillery and we've been working with local farmers and experts in their field uh, to 
look at how we can best produce a barley in Wales that we can malt in-house. Uh, so we'd be the first malt house in Wales for over 100 years. And then we would distill and store here at the distillery, making it a truly grain to glass whiskey where it never leaves Wales until it's ready to be you know, bottled and goes out to hopefully across the world, showing just how great West Wales is and what we can produce here. We've got quite strong links already with Brookladdy Distillery up in Scotland and Waterford Distillery and over in Ireland. And we're really sort of learning from our Celtic cousins how they've started their process and what they do there. This has been helped by the Celtic Connections programme where we, you know, we were lucky enough to go out to Waterford and meet them over there and really talk about how distillers can work together. Uh, one of the other big plans that we've got here is to develop an education centre. So it, we already act as consultants for other brands uh, and other distilleries across the country. And we've got a real appetite for sharing what we've learnt to help improve the industry as a whole in the, you know, in the craft section uh, uh, of spirits. Uh, what we you know, really are keen on is that people are coming together to share and to learn so that we can all plan and invest in everybody's future in West Wales. We wanted to start our business up in Wales because this is our home. I grew up here. Our little boy Tavy is from here. You know, we speak Welsh here and in the distillery. But also, you know, we're, we're really lucky in Wales that there's a very positive culture uh, which has been really engaging and encouraging of us as a business. We worked quite closely with Business Wales to start with and then later we moved to the Accelerated Growth Programme who've been sort of instrumental in helping us set up the business and then move forward so quickly in the two and a half years that we've been uh, you know, up and running now. Uh, we really feel that in West Wales we can be trailblazers. So we're not the only distillery, but the market isn't anywhere near saturated in Wales or the UK yet. We've got the space to grow here, both physically in our, in our new premises, but also within our business and develop it in our own way where we're unconstrained by the established industry telling us what the right way to do things is.